at the start of FIFA 13 and make this new series called Youth Squad Legends turned out all right, to be honest. First series, we go with Chesterfield and a big shout out to the first ever Youth Academy product, Ryan Brown. Now that is a banger. But the real birthplace of Youth Squad Legends is when we found our first Youth Squad Legend, like proper legend. Episode 9, Domenico Piscopo, free agent, mmm. The rest, as they say, is history. When the ball hits the net and you seem so perplexed, that's Piscopo. That's Piscopo. He wasn't the only gigantic player in Chesterfield. This is big man Mark Halfar, kind of getting stuck in the ground. It ain't easy being remeasy. Your man was experimenting with the episodes, especially episode 66, clocking in at over two hours. This is edited, by the way. It took my computer over a day to render the thing. Along with the Giants, we had some really skillful players. One breaking ankles and kicking off that love story between me and Swedish players. Well in, Andrea Sederberg. But it would be Domenico Piscopo series. His biggest moment winning the Premier League with with Chesterfield injured in a comeback victory over Norwich. What an amazing player, a great series to start this thing off. The next one, not so much, Fleetwood Town. Some series you just make mistakes. And my first mistake was like right off the bat with this one because I just carried on the same save as Chesterfield. So newcomers had no idea what was going on because we were already seven years into the future. Still this series like kicked off the long-term hatred I had for Accrington Stanley after they scored from an uncontested drop ball. Cheers lads. Rick Schilder kept the audience entertained with goals like this. I started live streaming the series for the first time, albeit potato quality. I mean, look at the state of that. By episode 44, I just had enough. We hadn't won the Premier League. We hadn't won the Champions League. FIFA 14 was just around the corner and I decided to give up. Series 2 was a failure. There's been a lot of failures in Youth Squad Legends, but the best thing is you learn from them. The mistakes, you try and not do again. We kicked off FIFA 14 with Paderborn. Oh. Wow, them menus were slow. Matthias Mulders was so good, he could defy gravity while simultaneously snapping his leg. I mean, can we talk about these menus? What is going on here? We welcomed the terrible Sullyman Nandule into our hearts after he fell in love with a cone. Uh, please just load the menus. Here's a young Raphael Baggy securing history. Being the first player to score six in a game, that record still stands. Equaled by some, but never better. I love Paderborn. It might not have been the most watched series, but there was just something magic about it. And there's something magic about Series 4 as well. York City. Oh, that! Oh! Chavez is gonna miss it! <laughs> With the lack of club funds, York City developed characters. And this would be the path that Youth Squad Legends take from then on. <laughs> Look at that! We wanted Bottomless Smith to score all the way through the series. Finally, we got that moment 101 episodes in, scoring a goal in the crucial Premier League title match. Even though we didn't have like great funds at York City, some fantastic goals were scored. Miroslav Pahovsky, and no one's gonna forget the greatest commentary line of them all. He crosses in, it's Adam Pond with a bicycle kick! Oh! Adam Pond! There's characters, there's good laughs, and there's some great goals. Put that all together, you've got a winning formula, and it also made me a better YouTuber, a much better YouTuber. It set some foundations up for me. We had some free time before the release of FIFA 15. So to fill it in, Series 5, Plymouth Argyle streamed. Very few views in terms of like YouTube, but there might be people who watch this live on Twitch that have very fond memories, especially of one striker called Edison Stoyanov. Stoyanov was the absolute embodiment of someone that we fully respect on Youth Squad Legends. A player that doesn't have the overall, but that doesn't matter to him. He performs well above and beyond what is expected. I guess it ran through this Plymouth team. It's not really a surprise that Wes Maloney, our goalkeeper, was playing up front one match and scored within four minutes. That's our goalkeeper. Just like York, it's absolutely packed 
with wonder goals. Henker Powell's the best of the bunch, maybe the best in Youth Squad Legends history. Jack Watson's nearly as good. I mean, if that's your second best goal of the series, you're onto a winner. I'm sure there was like a bicycle kick as well. The viewers were down and I totally can accept that. There were long episodes. It was right at the end of a FIFA cycle. I don't regret it one bit. From the stinginess of the York City board, building a Plymouth side, a very good Plymouth side, probably the best overall wise that we'd done to that point in Youth Squad Legends, was a really nice change of pace. 